Hey folks, I got something super exciting today. It's a new-ish product from grappa maker Nonino. It's Aperitivo Nonino Botanical Drink. What is it, is the first question. Well, it's a grappa-based aperitif from Grappa Makers Nonino. You may be familiar with their Amaro, Amaro Nonino, and they also sell grappa, of course. But this is a relatively new product, came out in 2019, and just showed up here in Oregon. When I saw it at the store, I thought, I gotta try this, because I love Nonino. Now this is an aperitif made from Grappa Fragolino, which I think is a dessert wine. And then it's infused with fruits and herbs and spices. It definitely has gentian and rhubarb in it, but I've had a little trouble finding any other information about what's actually in it. It is bottled at 21%, uh, which is pretty low. Uh, Aperol is at 11% and Campari is at 24, so it's just a little under Campari, but right in that sort of aperitif range. You might notice that it is not red like Aperol and Campari. Um, it is totally natural, uh, no artificial colors or anything like that. They also make a point of saying that it's vegan, which I guess just means they're not using cochineal bugs to color it red. I don't know what other like non-vegan product would be in an aperitif, so. So, how does it taste? Well, it's got a beautiful sort of golden color. It's got sort of a sweet, perfumey kind of smell. It is sweet, it's a bit flowery. Uh, it's, it's actually a sort of a lovely, delicate flavor. And it's got just a little bit of bitterness at the end. Um, so I think, I believe there's gentian in this and the gentian just sort of dries out your palate just at the very end of the sip. So it starts out pretty sweet, goes through some various herbs and fruits and then it sort of dries out at the end. It's lovely. And I feel like you can sort of taste the grappa in there that there's a sort that sort of grappa soapiness to it. Just just a little bit. Delicious. What can we make with it? Well, it's a new product as I said, so there are no classic drinks that we can make with it, but they do suggest on the back of the bottle to make a spritz. Now, I'm not like a big lover of the spritz uh, and I don't often make drinks from the back of the bottle, but I, in this case I thought, let's give it a shot. The back of the bottle calls for two parts of Aperitivo Nonino, one part sparkling wine. I'm using this cheap bottle of Prosecco I found at the grocery store. A splash of lemon, and that's it. We did it. Let's try this spritz. Let's see how we think. I mean, lemony. I'm gonna get this lemon out of my face. You know, that's mm. the lovely, oh. refreshing spritz. You know, like I said, I'm not like a super huge fan of of the spritz, but it's a lovely summer bright cocktail. I mean, you could sip that all day on the on the veranda. Uh, I also don't love prosecco, and this prosecco I got at the store probably isn't very good, but you know, this is, this is lovely. Who, who's gonna complain about a spritz? So I also did a search online for cocktails that maybe I could use this in, and I came across a punch article that appeared to be paid for by Nonino, where they featured some bartenders who had made drinks uh, using the aperitivo. Now my assumption is they convinced these bartenders to use this um, with the promise of promotion or maybe they paid them uh, and then they paid Punch to put up these cocktails on their website to get some more exposure. That's just how promotion works in the spirits business. I found one on there that sounded pretty appealing. It's called Tre Sorel, which I think means three sisters in Italian. Now it's called that because there's three Nonino sisters who are currently running the Nonino distillery. So that's pretty neat. Now. The Trey Sorel is basically a Pisco Sour Riff. It's got an ounce of our Nonino Aperitivo, an ounce of Pisco, half an ounce of simple syrup, half ounce of lemon, egg white of course, and for some reason, four grapes. Let's 
try Trey Sorel. I mean, an egg white drink is always lovely. The beautiful foam, creamy. It's got that lovely pisco mm. flavor, but backed up with some extra herbs yeah. from the uh, from the botanical drink. I think it's a really lovely combination: the aperitivo and the pisco. A nice, it's like flowery softness that's really lovely. I don't necessarily taste grapes. I'm not sure what the point of the grapes is exactly, but I mean, maybe it's just a fun gimmick. I guess it adds a little sweetness maybe, um, a little grapiness, although I'm not really detecting it. It reminds me, there's this other drink called the uh, Enzino, I think it's called, that has grapes in it. It's like, a, it's like a Negroni sour sort of thing with grapes in it. I've never tried that one, but I guess I got grapes, so I might as well try it. Conclusions. Aperitivo no Nino botanical drink is pretty good. It does cost $50 a bottle, which is kind of expensive and only slightly less expensive than the Amaro, uh, which is a little bit much if you're just gonna make a spritz or something. But you know, it is pretty good. It's a high, no Nino is a high quality grappa producer, so um, I am, I'm into it, but I do wonder why they called it botanical drink. That seems a little weird. They added this botanical drink sort of subtitle to the bottle, which I, I don't really get. That sounds like a, a marketing gag by someone who doesn't know what else to call it. I don't know, it, it's a little bit weird. But anyway, it's clearly a quality product. Uh, it's pretty unique. I don't really know of a whole lot of other things it tastes like. I don't really know what else to compare it to, except Aperol, and it's really nothing like Aperol. Uh, it's delicious, and I'm sure you could find some things to do with it. Um, now, it's not obviously like a required bottle in your bar, but it sure is fun, and if you can afford the price, I say go for it. All right, that's all I got. Go get yourself a botanical drink if you feel like it. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.